Good morning, you guys. It is moving day. I'm about to go get my face a little bit ready, brush my hair out, and I'll take you guys along on the whole process. We are headed to Ann Arbor. I am so excited. I don't think it would be a moving vlog if you didn't have troubles with Xfinity, and I've been on chat with them for like 30 minutes now since I woke up. It's 8.15. I got up around like 7.30 or something, and our Wi-Fi and cable setup was supposed to be delivered today because we're online students and we need Wi-Fi, but apparently it's not coming till tomorrow, which is fine. What if it doesn't show up? Because the chat person's like, oh, we don't have a tracking number. And I was like, well, neither do I. And you were supposed to email me one. So I just really hope it shows up. Otherwise I'm going to be very upset. So we'll see. But other than that, everything today is gonna go pretty smooth, I think. Now I'm gonna go get ready since I'm finally done with that. And then I will show you guys the garage that's all ready to go and my car that's all packed up. We are all set to get going. My dad's gonna be back here at around like 9.15, 9.30 with the U-Haul so we can start loading it up. In the packing video, one of the most important things is to leave your room nice and clean to come back to. Here is what the car is looking like. It's not stacked super high just because we have the U-Haul and I'm gonna have to make a few trips anyways. So I don't really see a point in making it so I can't see when I drive. But I brought a bunch of priority things. If you wanna know how I decided, watch my packing video. I will link it above if you missed it. About to take you guys into our garage. The power doesn't work in here, so I'm sorry that it's dark, but we have a lot of stuff. So the couch is ready to go. I'm gonna bring these storage bins bathroom shelf, living room rug, my desk. Then all of my furniture <laughs> is stacked over here. So TV stand, mattress pad, TV, my dresser's up there on top of like, that's my bedside table is up there on top of my dresser. You just can't see it. And then all the pieces to my bed frame are disassembled back there. These are gonna be my like trash cans and stuff. So I'm gonna get those on another trip. I don't think I'm gonna bring the mini fridge. I don't think I need it with just two roommates, but yeah, this is all the stuff. It's convenient because we just open up this garage and my dad backs the U-Haul in and we just load it up. Hopefully it will fit everything, fingers crossed. I have a lot of furniture and this is a pretty big couch. I already moved my mattress by the door. I definitely recommend getting a mattress bag to protect your mattress when you move it. Like an essential really, this is only $10. And then these are the little things that I for sure wanted to bring, but I just wanted to put them in kind of at the end. So this is gonna go in the U-Haul, but everything else is gonna go in our car. It's like cleaning supplies, Wi-Fi router. Then I'm also putting these on the top of my car because I wanted them easily accessible so I can try to film some montages while we move in. I'm just gonna preface that honestly, I might not get any moving in or loading U-Haul montages because my family doesn't really like to be on camera, but I will try to show you guys as I'm organizing, unpacking, and like little updates in my bedroom and stuff. So we just did the U-Haul, but I moved my apartment last year in East Lansing. I needed to get a bedroom set, so I have a bedroom set and we're bringing a couch like I said. And we told the property manager that we're bringing our own couch in one of the rooms needs no furniture in it to take it all out because he said he's willing to do that. But my roommate just got there and said my room is full of furniture and there's still a couch in the living room. So I have to call the leasing guy and tell him to get the stuff out and hopefully he can do it by the time we get there. We're about an hour away. I don't know if any things or maybe we're gonna have to move it ourselves, which would be pretty annoying, but the loading of the U-Haul was super smooth. We got a ton of stuff in there and I think I'll only need to do one more trip with my car and then I'll be totally done. So that's really, really great. But gonna get on the road, gonna call the property manager and hopefully he can take care of all that extra furniture. Like I have the email where he said, yep, we'll take care of it. So it's not like I don't have evidence, but. Up to you guys when we get to the apartment. All right, got everything unloaded. Kitchen is not updated, but we'll make do. Fridge. We're gonna keep this table. Over me. 
just not how it's supposed to be yeah, I can't stop thinking about you yeah, My body forgot how to move Girl, you took the most of me I just keep on drinking till the sun comes up Get a feeling like I need your love Brought everything boxes that I want to save for the move out home saying goodbye to the bedroom six months here it's the longest I've ever lived here I think because they moved when I was in high finishing up high school bye all right sorry there's weird lighting it's like 5 p.m. so it's like sunny and stuff but loaded up the car again if you guys can see and that's less of all my stuff which is great because the u-haul was super helpful to get a bunch of other things but about to drive back to ann arbor and unload this stuff and then the rest of the night unpack little things and organizing hanging stuff up on the walls and i might go see some of my classmates which would be really fun so we'll see if i have enough time it's six right now so i won't be back and probably unpacked until like 7 30 maybe 8 so it would be a little late to go see people but we'll see it's saturday got a whole weekend ahead of us almost well one day so we will see i'll update you guys later all right so my roommate is out right now so i'm gonna do a quick pano of the apartment for you guys i showed you a little bit before it was done it's still not done but we got couch all set up we're about to unfold this rug tv's in place i need to move all of these to respective locations and we're not even gonna set the tv up yet because cable doesn't come till tomorrow this table is kind of interesting i think i'm gonna get a like contact paper to put on it to make it look cuter and then the microwave just has to go there the kitchen was supposed to be redone but they didn't redo it so we're going to talk to him about that and see if we get like a disc discounted rent or something but it's a pretty tiny no dishwasher um we're gonna have a drying rack here and then this will be our bit of space to cook um like chop up stuff and whatnot and kitchen's mostly sorted actually which is good so I just have to put away some like random things of mine and then also all of my food I need to put away. And I'm gonna put a little chair here and a blanket bin over there. I'll do a final tour at some point um, for you guys to see everything. The bathroom up here is leaking when they shower so he's having a plumber come in on Monday. But the actual tile is pretty cute and I'm gonna put my bath mat down once the leak is fixed. Then we have our little shelf going over here which is nice. And this thing's kind of interesting. I don't know if we'll use that at all, but that is there. And like, this is what I said, there's no actual cabinetry in the bathroom. So I'm glad that my shelf fit. And Amanda just got a shower caddy, so they'll be back soon. Then this is Amanda's room. I'm not gonna, you know, invade her space. And this is my room so far. Basically, I just need to put away lots of clothes and then do the decorations and organize my desk and stuff. Pretty much this go around is just going to be food for the pantry, organizing, decorating, everything like major was already moved in which was so so great and Amanda and her boyfriend were so helpful because she was an RA in college so she didn't have a lot of like apartment stuff so I brought most of the stuff but they were so helpful and still like helped us set it up and unload it and everything and then one of my friends from dental school came and helped with the couch as well so it was a really really smooth move so far and I brought my mom home I don't know if I told you guys that and then that's when I picked up the last of my stuff Hey guys, it's Sunday. I'm about to go to the grocery store with my friend because his car is far away, so I'm going to give him a ride and pick up some, like, fridge food. I brought some pantry stuff for my parents, but I need fridge stuff. And my room is, you know, how it how it is. There's a lot to organize today, and then I also need to do some school stuff, but show you guys the finishing touches on my room. I got those plants hung up last night, and I think they look really cute i'm gonna adjust them a little bit but i'm happy that they're staying up they've been up all night so i don't think they're gonna fall fingers crossed put all of this food away this is the new stuff you guys saw i got at kroger and then this is stuff i brought from my house and then i also need to clear off this dining table i ordered some contact paper to put on here so i'll update you guys in a vlog whenever it gets here just because like it's all stained and gross anyways and i think it'll make it much brighter in here but I put these two prints up. That's the one that Megan got me. That's the one my sister got. You guys saw it in the packing video and haul. This is pretty much what the living room's gonna look like though. And then we have the couch. This wall is pretty ugly, but that's why we put the couch so you're not looking at it. We're probably gonna get rid of these shelves once we get rid of like 
all this move in junk, but we'll probably take them down. And yeah, it's pretty much the main living space. And I also put the wine sign up here. The kitchen is in its full organization. There's some things I wanna like update. I need salt and pepper shakers, so I'm gonna order some. I'm about to fill up this misto with some avocado oil. We don't have a dishwasher, so I put the drying rack in. We have the rug from Urban Outfitters, and we have all of our food in this like kind of pantry thing. This is mine, it's Amanda's, and then we're kind of half and half up there. Put some oven mitts on the walls because we don't have much storage. This is our whole storage, and this is our whole cooking space, so a little tiny, but it's all good. We have our pots and pans down there, and then obviously this is the oven, our top drawer silverware and then we have knives and a couple other things like the apple slicer back there then we have all of our like cooking utensils then the bottom drawer just has like my stasher bags and like plastic wrap and stuff and we have cleaning supplies under the sink we have our baking pans, strainers, cutting boards down here. And then spices, lighters, and some extra kitchen towels. Then we have our food in these two. So this half is mine. I just have like pantry, like mostly like pastas, sauces, and then all baking stuff up there. Then this is just some of Amanda's food. And then we have our glasses, plates, and then some like Tupperware storage up there for me. And this side doesn't have as much, just some of Amanda's stuff, and then our wine glasses. And again, because of the limited storage, we put some stuff on top of our fridge, which I guess is nice, it's successful. The fridge is really loud, if you can hear it. But we have my blender back there, we have the fruit bowl up here, and then toaster and some extra towels. All right, I didn't really film any of the final putting stuff away, because I've just honestly not been in the best mood. I'm really tired and nervous, and all the things you feel before first day of school feels like the first day of school all over again because we weren't in person at all. So tomorrow half of our group will be going to the dental school and then we still have a bunch of classes and more credits. So anyways, long story short, I didn't really film any of the final setup, but I am gonna do a quick little room tour for you guys to wrap up the video. You walk in and this is what you see. I do really like it. Obviously I didn't perfectly tidy up for you guys, but this way. We have our lovely mirror and you can see the hanging plants in the back, which I think is cute. I have the be still and no signs up that I made. And then I need to take that box out to my car, but the mirror's just propped up so it gets better angles. Same plant from Target with its hanging planter. I usually do my makeup in this mirror, so that's my makeup bag. Desk is all set up with the podcast mic and everything. Devices charging, wall calendar. The scratch map turned out really cute. And then since it's on the cork board, I could put pins in the places I've been. And again, I love this particular scratch map because it's very muted and pastel -y, so it's not like in your face. It goes very well with a neutral tone room. And down here, I just have all of my cords, a paper trash bin, my whiteboard, backpack ready to finally be used tomorrow, and then the cubes here with some Polaroids on top and rings, essential oils, watch bands, scrunchies. Then I have my tissues tucked back there. And Amanda's boyfriend helped me hang up these shelves. This is what's staying on them for now. Might end up rearranging them. And this is the bed. Looking from my door, this is what you see. I think it turned out really, really, really cute. I'm very happy with it. And all this furniture was a set from Art Van. So they're closed down, but I'm sure you could find something similar closet is what it is <laughs> not very neat but everything has a place i put this little fur rug down here you can see some of my storage bins peeking through i'll link this duvet cover it's from pb teen miscellaneous pillows that's from new zealand that's from an arts fair but that was from like walmart and then it's a printout from my lake a sunset then here are the hanging planters in action i told you guys i might move them i haven't yet because i've been lazy so Unless they really bother me, I'm just gonna leave them because it was a lot of work getting them up there. And it's nice that I can kind of nestle some junk back here out of sight. So I have my folding desk, suitcase, ring light tripod, laundry bin, and I just put a couple other, one fake plant and one real plant here. My new 
nightstand and this clock. I have to fix the time. It's not two in the morning. And then above my dresser, I just put this little wicker wreath and pretty much similar stuff that was in my room last year. I need to print out some picture to go there. And then the dresser, so, so that is pretty much how everything turned out. All right, so I'm a very tired girl. We're gonna end this video right here. Hopefully I'll be able to film a little bit in SimLab and show you guys when we're in the dental school, but if not, there'll still be lots of dental school vlogs showing you as much as I can about our 23 credit fall semester that starts tomorrow morning. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.